In this video, you are given the directions to solve this equation. So the first thing you need to notice is that your highest exponent is 2, meaning this is quadratic. So there are five different ways you can possibly approach this. You couldn't use square root to solve because you have an x squared term and you have an x term in the problem. So that one's out. But we might be able to factor this problem. So if you look on my website, you have this factoring organization sheet from our section 1.5. And the way we use this is the first thing we ask ourselves is, is it a binomial, trinomial, or polynomial of four terms? So 2x squared is the first term. 3x is our second term. Minus 5 is our third term. So this is a trinomial. So we follow our steps here. So the next question says, is our leading coefficient 1 and the highest exponent is 2? So your leading coefficient is the coefficient of x squared and is not 1. So since it's no, we follow the path here. And these are all the steps that we follow in order to factor this type of problem. So first step says, multiply the leading coefficient and the constant term together. So our leading coefficient is the number in front of x squared. So that's 2. And you multiply the constant together. So 2 times negative 5 gives us negative 10. So next step says, what two numbers can you multiply together to give you the answer to number 1? So if we're looking for what two numbers multiply together to give us negative 10. But when we add them together, we get the coefficient of the linear term. So two numbers that we multiply together to get negative 10, but we add them together to get 3. So multiply to get negative 10, add together to get 3. So those two numbers are positive 5 and negative 2. Those are the two numbers we can multiply together to give us negative 10. And when we add them together, it gives us a positive 3. So our third step is to split the linear term. So what this means is... We're going to take this 3x and we're going to replace it with these two values. So in our problem, our first term stays the same, 2x squared. We're going to replace the middle term with this one. So minus 2x plus 5x. Last term stays the same. We have minus 5 equals 0. So the reason I decided to put the negative 2 first and the 5 second is because we're going to take these first two terms and factor those and take these last two terms and factor those. And it's easier to see factoring if I put the 2 here instead of the 5. So this is what we have now. 2x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 5 equals 0. So we're factoring by grouping. So that means we take the first two terms and we use GCF on those. So what's in common between 2x squared and a negative 2x? We can factor out 2x from both of those terms. And what we have left over is x minus 1. From our last two terms, once we factor those, we can factor out a 5. And what we have left over is x minus 1 equals 0. So now, the last part is we need to factor this first term and this term. So what's in common between these two terms? They both have x minus 1. And then we write out what's left over between these two terms. So if I take out x minus 1 here, we're left with 2x. And if I take out x minus 1 here, we're left with 5. So there's our factored form. In order to get our final answer for the solutions, we have to take each of these factors, set them equal to 0, and solve. So we have x is equal to 1. 2x is equal to a negative 5, x is equal to negative 5 halves. Made with DoodleCast Pro.